Okay, in this question, we have a multiple answer choices, multiple answer question. We have A, B, C, D, and E. 12, 12 degrees, 15, 45, 50, and 70 degrees, respectively. Now, what they're saying is we have a triangle. That's triangle ABC. Let's just draw a triangle, kind of conceptualize this. And it's saying that we have an angle here, and this angle is greater than 90. This angle greater than 90 degrees. What else we know is that there's a measure of angle A. So we'll call this angle A over here. And that angle is 25 degrees, exactly 25. Therefore, what do we know about this third angle? And I guess we'll call it angle C, and that's exactly what they call it. So we have 115 degrees. And therefore, we know that, OK, this angle right here could be 65, not exactly 65, but less than 65, because that would give us 180. So if this angle here, B, were 91, this angle C would have to be 64. That is the sum of angle B and angle C would always have to equal up to 180 minus 25, which is the measure of angle A. So you end up getting 165. As long as angle B and angle C equal that, then there is our answer. Now, if you look at the answers here, though, we're going for the measure of angle C. Well, it could be 64. It can't be 65. It could be 64.8, 64.9. And it could go all the way down to 12. It could even be 2. And what do I, what do I mean? Because that would be a, a funny looking triangle. Let's draw it. This looks like a 25 degree angle to me there. Great. Now, what's a two degree angle look like? Well, it's really sharp. I have to draw it. <laughs> there we go. There's a two degree angle. So it's not even asking us to go that far. I mean, we could call this a 12 degree angle, but the whole point is this angle here is greater than 90 angle B. So we can have any answer as long as. Again, okay, we're going not for angle B, but angle C, as long as the answer is less than 65, and so this is D, C, B, and A.